What's up everybody, Jin here. Today is my uh, second video of the Monday web series where I'll give you guys the updated news uh, about what's going on in the NFL and you know what I believe is the game of the week. So last week, preseason, week five in the NFL, um, of course we had some very good games, but you know I figured you know the Giants versus the England, uh, England, New England Patriots uh, you know, wasn't bad, you know, so I just decided to choose it as my game of the week. And, uh, well, let's get things started. Uh, number one, uh, the Redskins. You, you guys know about RG3. Everybody, oh, look at Knicks, though. I take off with Knicks in the middle with that middle route. Uh, give me seven points just like that. Uh, anyways, in NFL news, uh, for the beginning, for the upcoming season, actually, it starts, I think, September 8th. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, but... You know, next Sunday, guys, all the games are going to start. Everything's going to get going, so I'm excited for that. Anyways, uh, the Redskins, RG3 will be starting against the season opener versus the Eagles. Now, that's pretty crazy because I figured I didn't think RG3 would be ready. You know, I, I saw his uh, injury, his knee injury in the playoffs last year, and it was it just looked really bad, man. I, I felt really sorry for the guy, you know, rookie of the year, what I, you know, I thought, and it's just everything like kind of went bad for him towards the end of the game. But RG3 is uh, supposedly recovered fully from his knee injury or, you know, halfway recovered. I don't know. But he will start versus the Eagles. Now, the Bears, uh, the Bears wide receiver, Brandon Marshall, he messed up his hip uh, during a preseason game. I don't know if it was the last week or the week before last. And it is confirmed that he returned to practice today on Monday. And um, he had hip surgery. And he and I quote, he says his hip joint is in amazing amazing shape. So, you know, trying to save face. So uh, they sign, they get him for a longer contract. They don't want to. So he doesn't get released, basically. Uh, the Bengals, Geno Atkins. I know a lot of people don't talk about the DT's defensive tackle or defensive lineman. But he just signed a $55 million deal uh, uh, extension, a five-year extension. Uh, considered one of the dominant DTs in the game in the game right now he, he's not bad and he plays for the Bengals so yeah that's pretty cool uh, you know what Terrell Pryor for the Oakland Raiders uh, he uh, obviously I mentioned this last week uh, he was taking first team snaps today during practice he will uh, he is considered the starting quarterback uh, that's not bad you know he's he's been with the Raiders for a while and there he's finally getting his big shot props to him Let's see, the Patriots, uh, of course, New England Patriots, you guys already know, Tim Tebow got released. Tebow, I'm sorry, man, Tebow mania is over. I remember uh, watching everybody do those Tebow videos. I remember uh, YouTube uh, YouTube was blowing up with everybody doing Tebow videos. But you know what? That time has came and gone. Uh, sucks for Tim Tebow because, you know, you always... You always want a quarterback to prosper, you know, after he has his time to shine. But obviously, he could he could not cut it in the league. He was more of a uh, pep talk type of quarterback, other than actually being able to play the game. So he was released. He's a free agent now. Whether teams are interested in picking him up, I doubt it. I believe his NFL career is over, uh, unless he signs with a practice squad. But up until now, he's a free agent. Uh, nobody's giving him any offers. So. Hopefully he, he makes a comeback. Hopefully he gets a, a backup spot or something. You know, I, I believe he deserves it, even though I wasn't the biggest Tebow fan. So uh, in other news, in other news, in uh, actually big news right now in the NFL, we've got Ray Lewis. You know, uh, I think he did an interview. He did an interview uh, for, I think it was like NFL Films, and it's like a documentary on, uh, well, not on him, but it's a documentary on, uh, you know, and he talked to to, uh, to the USA Today's uh, Nate Davis, and uh, he was doing an interview for NFL Films America's Game, and and I quote, "This is what Ray Lewis said," uh, and I quote, "Now listen, if you grew up like I grew up, and you grew up in a household like I grew up, then sometimes your lights might go out because times get hard. I understand that," he said, "but nobody can tell me somebody wasn't sitting there when they say the Ravens are about to blow them out." We better do something. That's a huge shift in any game in all seriousness. And as you see how huge it was because it let them right back in the game. That's him talking about the blackout. That's him talking about when during the middle of the Super Bowl, the lights went out. You know, the lights went out. And, I mean, it was an outage. And uh, the Baltimore Ravens were blowing out the San Francisco 49ers last year. And then the lights went out for 30, 45 minutes and actually gave the Niners a chance to, uh, you know, game plan to change their strategy and actually almost come back to beat the Ravens. Even though the Ravens, I think, beat them, uh, I don't know if it was by a field goal, 
But yeah, the Ravens did take the Super Bowl. But Ray Lewis thinks that it was a, it was a conspiracy. You know, somebody did it. Uh, whether it be the NFL uh, insider, uh, a fan, uh, somebody that was paid, he believes in his is his own mind that you know the lights went out during the Super Bowl. That the lights just don't go out. You know, the they're not supposed to. I mean, it's a stadium. It's the big game. Uh, there's a lot of preparation for it. And even me too. I do believe that. You know, there's so much preparation. There, it, they know it's like a billion dollar thing. You know, it's like makes millions and millions, possibly a billion dollars. Uh, off that one day you know the the commercials the you know the publicity the how big the players get the names and that happens you know that there's no way the lights could have gone out i'm with ray lewis on that uh of course you know uh there is always a chance that something was faulty or that they did indeed forget to i think it, they said that they forgot to to change some type of surge protector and that's what caused the outage but of course i don't know that's what Ray Lewis said. Ray Lewis thinks that it was planned. He thinks that somebody flipped the switch. And he believes that it was planned so that they, the 49ers can get back into the game. Be sure and check that out, man. Ray Lewis, uh, he'll talk about his little conspiracy theory uh, on uh, NFL Films. It airs on Monday at 9 p.m., I think. 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, I, I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I read somewhere about it. You know, of course, I don't write a lot of this stuff down. I take, I jot down some notes, and th that's about it. But yeah, check that out. Be sure and keep an eye out, or at, you know, Google it or look it up online and check out NFL Films Ray Lewis interview, and you guys will get the time and information on that. Other than that, that's it, guys. That's it for NFL uh, preseason week five. You guys saw the scores. Uh, later on in the series, I'll actually give you scores. You know, I'll be like, oh, yeah, well, I'll comment on the actual scores that show up on the screen other than, you know, other than just talking about other random things, you know. But hopefully you guys are liking this web series. This is my second week doing it. Uh, be sure and check out our Madden 25 giveaway. You got one week to enter. The winner will be chosen uh, on midnight at midnight at the end of this week, and we will announce the winner on Saturday. So be sure and check that out. Uh, to get a you know to enter for a chance to win a free Madden 25 for the PlayStation 3. Now in uh, in other news, uh, I'm getting my A whooped, <laughs> uh, 24 to 42 by Tom Brady. He was picking me apart the entire game. Of course, you know I'm playing on all Madden and uh, I do try. I don't try my hardest, but I do try to uh, you know to beat the game. Try to indeed uh, beat the team. And here he goes, man. Uh, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots beat me. Uh, he did pretty good. I just did horrible on defense. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the series. Hope you guys keep coming back for more. Uh, I can't wait till the season starts next week, uh, next Sunday. Uh, the NFL season starts. I can't wait. I'll see you guys next time. This is Jen. I'm out. <laughs>